Hi there. Uh, last time you saw me do the inside of the hall. Today we're gonna take care of some um, problem areas in the inside. I got some air bubbles. And air bubbles are not very good because they can expand and they can shrink and uh, they can break up and if they break up uh, you will uh, get water into the air bubble and that can destroy the sandwich lemonade. But also when they shrink and uh, expand that can also lead to further delamination. So you want to get rid of the air bubbles and that is what we are going to do today. Here I got a small bubble. Perhaps I stretch the cloth in the hull band. Here is another one. Here in the inside bands bubbles are easily formed. If the cloth is laid too short it won't follow the bend. Another reason for bubbles can be trapped air. For example between strips. Or in staple holes that aren't filled enough. This could be a result of my water experiment last time. If I had surface water still left, a bigger bubble like this one could have been formed. Big bubbles like this one needs to be cut off. Filling it with epoxy will not result in a good lemonade. I cut along the edge of the bubble. I want to create a smooth transition with the good lemonade. Thus I cut with an angle close to the hull. The wood is not covered with epoxy, thus I think this bubble was formed from trapped steam or air. As these bubbles are longer in the hull length direction, I suspect that the gas was released from the gap between the strips. I have several similar bubbles in this area. Maybe I stretched the cloth, or I made a crappy job when sanding the hull flat. After cutting out the larger bubbles, I switched to another tool. For smaller bubbles, it works to make two steps in one go. Thus I use a rasp to cut out the bubble and level the edge. I also trim the edges of the bigger bubbles. This will make it easy to lay down a covering layer of glass. Flat edges will reduce the risk for new air bubbles. Now when all bubbles are opened up, I can start the next step. This is to further flatten out the edges and make the surface smooth. These really uneven areas need more work. Now I can remove the dust and carry on inside. I lower the temperature to shrink any trapped air. Laminating with shrinking temperature will reduce air bubbles. I will use somewhat thickened epoxy for this cover-up project. Thickened epoxy stays better inside the laminate, further reducing the risk for new air bubbles. First I wet out the cut-out areas. Then I lay down a covering piece of cloth and wet out the cloth also from the upside. Some work with the roller further improves the bonding and reduce the risk for new bubbles. And then I can continue. A strong light helps to reveal any troubling areas. Here on the vertical slopes thickened epoxy is really beneficial. The viscous mixture stays and doesn't move so much. This looks very good and I hope to continue with the build in next episode. I hope to see you back here then. If you found this informative please leave a like. 